Hello Libra, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I'm here for your July 2019 reading. Now this is general, this is for Sun, Moon, or Rising. So if this does not resonate with your Sun sign, please check out your Moon and your Rising. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me and my current subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. Let's get started into this reading because this is a doozy. I'm telling everybody, right, we've got two eclipses, one that just happened, the solar eclipse on July the 2nd of 2019, one that is going to have the partial lunar eclipse that's going to be happening on July the 16th, that one is happening in Capricorn, the solar eclipse happened in Cancer, so we're seeing a lot of um, personal thoughts, needs, desires coming out, we're also going to see a lot of things um, that have plagued us before, um, possibly that, you know, have ways of triggering, like a lot of old emotions coming up, um, probably a lot of emotions from childhood, um, coming up. Um, and so just be aware of that Libra. Okay. Um, especially because your, uh, planet Venus during this month at about right about on the 16th is going to be opposing, I believe Saturn or squaring Saturn, one of the two, it's going to make things a little icky for just a second in your department. You're probably going to be feeling very irritable um, from time to time, like easily triggered, easily set off. Just be aware of that this month so that you can really, it's not really the person that's saying whatever has been said to you or doing what's ever been being done to you that's the issue there's something deeper back there and so if you know you're not accustomed to really going in and taking care of that you know seek someone that can go um that can help you like with a reiki session energy healing session you can book with with me or someone else but i would you know really get down into that chakra injury um as you go forward throughout this month now overall energy for you actually is quite good Okay, so remember overall energy, we have the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. So all about new passion, it starts, right? Remember what I was saying? This is the, this month, month to do, to start something brand new, okay? And really grab a hold of it. And then we have the Hierophant. So if you're not in a committed relationship, I see commitment coming for you. Um, also with the Hierophant though, um, keep the faith. So the ideas that you get, the passions that you get that are ignited, keep the faith, okay? Um, don't forget how you felt when that idea came to you. Don't forget how you felt when you first heard in your meditative time that this is what you were meant to do. Don't forget that and and st stay the course, okay? That's the main thing that I, I'm hearing. Stay the course, Libra, throughout this month. This is going to be a little bit trying for you, um, but don't but don't be afraid. Okay, because you can do it. All right, come, energy coming towards you is Ace of Cups. So uh, renewed commitment, new love, new love commitments. Um, very satisfied. There's there's this energy of self partnership, of 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 self love, of being complete within oneself. That's that's coming towards you. Um, patience. You know your cup overflowing. That's what's coming towards you. Um, overcoming finally with the nine of swords, overcoming a lot of anxiety that you've had. You've had some sleepless nights. Probably if you're in a relationship, you've potentially been having a little bit of issue in your relationship. And here we go. It's been a little bit of a fight, but you've had to show courage through this. So you've really been showing courage through it. Um, but it's calming down, right? So you got this, just get it across the finish line. You're, you're carrying burdens with this Ten of Wands energy, so you're really holding on to a lot, and I'm hearing it's not yours to hold on to. I really feel like, Libra, this has got to do with, your, with, with a significant other. So the Lover's card coming out could also be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. This doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you are in relationship with. This could be just, you know, like your soulmate type person, or it could be something that you're working with closely. However, this is what I will say. They, they have their own stuff to work out. They have their own stuff to work out. 
you're carrying their burden and it feels like you're carrying the burden of the entire relationship somewhat, or at least you feel like you are. Um, but you really want this to manifest with this Queen of Pentacles. You know, you've been secure in the relationship or you've been secure in this, whatever it is, that it's growing and that it, it's coming, that it's um could potentially blossom into something new or into something good and something stable. But something's been going on that's got your spidey senses going off and... And they're, again, their burdens, I just keep hearing, they have to facilitate their own growth. As much as you want to be there for them, you inter, like kind of interfering and interjecting a little bit too much is not helping them become balanced. And then what happens is you get out of balance because you're giving so much. This is not the season for us to be all up in everybody else's tea, everybody else's biz, okay? Like, we have to take care of our own and be there to support the other so we don't become uh, codependent and really poorly and horribly entangled because when that happens then, oh, then now we've got a real mess, okay? So what could be a problem here is the page of wands that uh, could bring you an obstacle and then we have oppression, though, which is the devil card in the star child tarot, which is Capricornian energy, which I find quite interesting. Let's see. I, I believe I hear something, but what I'm hearing is usually the oppression card or the devil card um, signifies um, some sort of addiction, lasciviousness you know, just like debauchery, you know, you're just doing it, right? You're doing your darn thing. Uh, and you're doing a lot of it. Um, it can mean addiction. It can mean alcoholism. It can't, or drug addiction or something. But what I'm hearing with this is, and not wanting to take steps maybe away from it is the problem. Like, or, okay. In the positive side, become obsessed with, or addicted to self-care, become addicted to love of self, become addicted to being self-partner, become addicted to being the best that you can potentially be and going after your innermost desires. Hopefully your partner comes along with you if this is a love situation or your business partner or whatever, but um, be addicted to that and less addicted to being helpful and loving and having to direct traffic all the time. You cannot direct their traffic. See, you're gonna wanna direct their traffic. You're gonna wanna do this page of ones where, okay, look, let's take baby steps and let's go on and get past this. Oh, good gravy. And the Ace of Swords comes out sideways. See, this is gonna be a conflict for you. Can you truly restart, rethink, do things different, think about things different, speak about things differently. Can you do it? You're being, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. With the moon card, you're being asked. You know intuitively this is what you should do. You know intuitively that you need to step out of it. Could be a Pisces in the mix as well. Mm, very well could be a water sign running around here because now we have the chariot. My man, you know, the gravy, all I need is the death card and we got all three here, right? Um, You know, you be decisive though in the direction that you need to take. You cannot make the decisions for some other people. Stay out of their Kool-Aid. Trust me, they are going to be able to be okay. Oh, good Lord, and here's the king of cups. Okay, now look. I don't know what water sign y'all dealing with, some of y'all, a lot of y'all. Mm. Oof, that water is heavy. Listen, this is the other thing, though. That King of Cups loves, but he loves, he gives the tough love. He loves aloof. He loves at a distance. He does not all up in the grill. He's not all up in the Kool-Aid. He loves you, but baby... There's something you're going to have to do on your own. 
and he allows that to happen. So this is what this is. Remember, you have to follow your intuition. You have to relate to this person as they need to be related to. You have to, but you still have to push forward in your own personal journey and not get codependent and entangled up in it. You can love them, but you got to love them. Baby, I love you, but I can't get down in it with you. I really want this business to work between us if it's a business partner, but I can't get down in your stuff. So you're going to have to deal with your stuff. I can guide you in, you know, in some ways, but I can't be in it with you because there's lessons this month we all have to learn on our own. This is very much a on our own, a solo journey, but with your soul family instead of like the third dimensional. Okay. Um, Finally, the outcome more advice, page of cups. So I do see if this is a relationship, I do see this like renewed offer, this like um, joy. You know, remember we started with the ace of cups here. So this joyous, you know, uh, 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 you know, flirtatious, um, youthful, teenage kind of, you know, just having a good time. Oh, and this darn devil card and popped up again. Ooh, child. Ooh, not this. I, when they show up like that, listen. You have to be very Capricornian about this. You're gonna have to be very stubborn and stick to your stick to your guns on that you're not getting involved in this anymore, and that you're gonna balance yourself out before you balance them out. Become addicted to yourself, not in an unhealthy way, but you understand what I'm saying. I don't have to tell y'all what I mean. You, you get it. Yeah. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is this: there's going to be this tower moment. See, if you stay in it, the tower moment that you're not going to be able to avoid here, it could tear you down too. This one, I don't get a good particular tower moment. Because this one is avoidable. If you let them work out their own stuff, but you get mucked and mired into it, baby. I don't know what to tell you, but it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Okay, dear. So this is, you know, work on you Libra and it's really okay. Trust me. They'll be okay. Just support them through it. Okay. Just support them through it. If you need to send them to a counselor or to you know, an energy worker like myself or something like that, then do that. But you cannot be all up in it. You can't fix it for them. Okay? You cannot fix it for them. All right, Libra. So, um, tarot classes start July the 20th. There's going to be a spot about this at the very end of this video in just a second. So please do not, you know, stay here till the very end. Also, um, if you wish to work with me, all the information is heartofinspiration.net. A lot of that information is down below where you can find me. We could do readings, energy work, and so on and so forth, okay? And please, if this did resonate with you, please consider leaving a comment, liking, and subscribing. And don't forget those bell notifications. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye. Learn to read tarot. Register for classes at www.heartofinspiration.net. This will be a five-week course, interactive, with video modules and also print modules. Register now at www.heartofinspiration.net.